So it's your second season in GP2, learning year last year. How did that go for you? I think my, uh, my first year in GP2 was a really good one. You know, I made the step up from GP3, which I think is, is quite a big step, even if it's just one number uh, different. Um, but you know, there's a lot more, lot more to it in GP2 with pit stops, much more strategy, tyre compounds. It's virtually a mini Formula 1 series, which you know, I think is what proves it to be a great breeding ground for hopefully Formula 1 superstars, like, like you said, such as Lewis and Nico. So, you know, it's my second year, so obviously uh, expecting to do a bit better. And do you feel now that you're a much more rounded driver heading into the season this year? I do, yeah. I really, really feel like I've learned a lot from my first season. Um, you know, I had some great moments, won some really good races and had pole positions. So from my side, it shows that the speed was always there. So now it's all about putting it all together and delivering a great championship result, which all champions need to do. It's all about having a great season and being very consistent. So I'm going to need to show that I've learned from my first season and, like you said, become more rounded. And of course, as a part of your development, you're part of the Williams F1 team. How much has that helped you? I think it's been a really big part of my career, uh, joining Williams. You know, it puts a bit more pressure upon me, but also to have a name like Williams Formula 1 team supporting me, it, you know, it really, really helps me. And at the end of the day, it's all about getting to Formula 1 and winning world championships. So from my side, it's, it's what I need if I want to progress. And what are the chances of seeing you in a Formula 1 car this year? I think it depends on how many big trophies I pick up this year. Um, but I think if I do that on a regular basis and come away with a good championship result, which you know I think we all know what I want to achieve, which is to win the championship, then I think it's hopefully likely. You know, it's never as clear cut as that. But you know, we've seen a lot of stuff in Formula One happen. But I really feel that if I can prove what I can do, then the chance will open up for me. And of course, your team in GP2 is Dams, your second year with them. How important is that for you to stay with the same team? A lot of drivers move around, but I guess it gets you that consistency in working with the same engineers. From my side, it was really important to, to stay with the same team. They've won the Drivers' Championship the last three out of five seasons. So, you know, very, very competitive. The car is very strong at every circuit. And I think last year I had myself as a rookie and my teammate was a rookie and Pierre Gasly. So as a team, maybe we were a bit weaker than we wanted because there wasn't so much experience but now I'm the second year driver and I've got a rookie as a teammate so now sort of the pressure's on me to be the team leader and it's that's a role I really flourish in and I'm really enjoying and it's my my turn to be the number one driver and, and lead the team and as you mentioned they're a team with great pedigree in GP2 you know how to put a title campaign together we saw that in GP3 so on paper it's a really strong partnership heading into 2016. On paper everything feels fantastic I have to say you know we've changed a few things within the team there's been some you know dynamic changes with a few engineers leaving and some people getting promoted and I think that's been a really really key part to our pre-season and hopefully what will become a successful season uh, there's a really good vibe in the team and uh, all the mechanics and engineers have put in a lot of hard work over the winter and I think compared to Formula One, you know, it's such a small team and it's a real small team mentality, which I really love, that everybody wants to work hard for each other and that's what we've got and hopefully it's going to deliver some good results. And looking at the testing times that we've seen so far, it really looks like it's going to be a competitive fight this year. As always, I think it's going to be really close. Um, I think we had a really solid pre-season testing focusing on what we needed to, to work on um, from our weaknesses last year. So, and I believe, touch wood, that we've gotten to the bottom of a few of our issues so now we should be in a really good position to win most weekends. Is there anybody you've picked out so far as being the rival, the one we need to watch you going head to head with this year? I think like you said there's going to be a lot of key people that are going to be fast at stages but I'm really looking at Pierre Gasly and uh, Sergei Sorokin as my main championship competitors. Okay. For those unfamiliar with GP2 of course it does support Formula 1 on the race weekends. But what can people expect? And people are going to be tuning in to the series for the first time this weekend in Spain. You can expect a lot of action. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really cliche that GP2 produces fantastic racing, but it's a lot of you know 22 guys all trying to prove what they can do in Formula One and hoping to get lifted into the big time and become a superstar. So it's just 22 young guys going at it, wheel to wheel, trying to win. Um, you know, no politics, nothing, just flat out racing, which. From my side, it's really pure, and I love competing in it because it's just all about winning. And of course, everybody has got identical cars as well, so it's really down to the driver and whoever gets the best setup. Identical cars, identical uh, tyres, 
So literally the only difference is the teams tuning them and the driver driving it. So it's really close, really competitive, and it makes for fantastic racing. And the way the junior formula ladder is at the minute, it really is the series to be in. The drivers that people will be watching on track this year are the future F1 stars. Absolutely. Um, and that's why everyone's so, so gunning to make a name for themselves and prove why they deserve to be in Formula 1, because they're trying to show the teams what they can do. And that, that's what cre creates such great racing and also what proves that they can be a superstar.